everybody. Uh, we're back out here doing our fishing. Um, yeah, so uh, it's been super slow. Uh, yeah, I mean, to be brutally honest, not to sound negative, but this is like some of the worst fishing I've seen in Kona for an extended amount of time. Um, it's just been, it's just been dead. I don't know, you know, weird weather, rain, wind, switching currents, bait's not around. Um, gosh, it's just like devoid of life. I don't know what the story is. Some days you come out here and the water's cold and the current's going north and in, and the next day it's going south and the water's a little warmer and then the next day it's cold and going, I mean, it is just not, it's just not happening. Uh, so, um, you know, but the, the, the beautiful thing about Kona, and this is a thing that like, you can never get too negative or too down in the dumps is that any day it can happen here. I've gone from, yeah, sorry, I thought I saw something there. Um, I've gone from just really, really bad fishing to all of a sudden a really big one pile on, so you just never know. You can turn around whenever, and that's the beautiful thing about here that it's just every single day you, you got a shot, even when it's, when it's bad, you know, there's a big one comes wandering in here a couple one or a wave of them shows up and uh and there you go so so you just you just stay motivated and positive every single day here it's uh it's, it's one of the special things about this spot is that you, you do kind of have those you can have those shots any day at any moment um so i know for me that keeps me motivating especially when the fishing is terrible um and you know it is still early season and like you know to be honest with you may for me you know, that April May period has been super hit and miss for me over the years anyways so yeah it's just how it goes you know I think a lot of time on this show a lot of times on this show you know you see we talk about just the good fishing and you see the you know you see when we're catching and you see when the bites on but you know and, and I think you know when people talk about themselves and they talk about the fishing or you read articles you know you just hear about these glamour days or the moments when it happens but you know, at the end of the day there's definitely stretches of marlin fishing if you've been doing this long enough you know you, you just ain't gonna catch them every day and there's gonna be stretches you're gonna go through where it's just tough demoralizing kick in the nuts fishing okay you know lucky for us it's beautiful out here we're off Hawaii it's warm flat calm usually um, and like I said you always never know you, you can always have a chance so that keeps it from, from not being so bad but I've definitely fished some spots where downright demoralizing <laughs> but the key I think is to stay positive your crew if your captain's getting grumpy then your crew kind of needs to kind of cheer them up and same same if your crew's getting grumpy your captain needs to cheer them up you got to stay light like at the end of the day we're not doing we're not performing brain surgery here you know people aren't living you know dying here we're, we're not you know this is this is a luxury that we get to do this it's a beautiful uh, it's a gift that we're able to to get paid and go around and check these animals out and you know come and go fish and be out on the ocean and I, I think uh, that's a key to keeping that in your mind um, and not getting all down in the dumps and negative you know especially for you know, you know fishermen going places and you know you spend a lot of money to go fish and sometimes it just doesn't happen but you know you, you go there and you, you're, you're you're trying to buy a bite and um, it doesn't happen and you're miserable and then it's like a complete waste so you know if you go there and it's you look at it as just an experience and you can enjoy the ride you know enjoy the whole experience try and learn something try and uh, you know um, you know embrace it is I mean it's kind of like a metaphor for life right you go through life constantly just focusing on the end result or just focusing on filling your bank account or doing this or doing that and, and then all of a sudden you get to that moment and you're what you, you're old and you're you know I guess you, you made it or whatever but then you've missed out on all these joys of life or you've had these joys of life but you've never been in the moment and I think that's a, that's a very important aspect in fishing and in life is to be present in the moment and just enjoy it you know just try and enjoy the the simple fact of just being on the ocean just doing your thing just all the little things you know because um, if it's just the only time you're happy out here is when you're getting bit it's gonna be a lot of times you're gonna be miserable and uh, it's something I had to really kind of change my attitude over the years about um, especially coming somewhere like this where it's like 
you know, you're not catching 10 every day, you're not getting a whole bunch of bites every day, and you're not, you know, um, so, yeah, it's uh, interesting deep thoughts on our early morning commute, but, uh, yeah, that's something, uh, I guess, uh, to think about, something I've been trying to work on in my own life, you know, just uh, in life, you know, with my children around, with everything, it's just trying to be very present in the moment. So many distractions, so much stuff on you can get piled up on your plate, you know, um, you're constantly just putting all your energy and focus towards the next bite or the next project or the next phone call or the next Instagram post or the next this or the next whatever it is, the next, uh, you know, and you, you miss the whole point. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's like uh, in the famous words of Ferris Bueller's, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around, you might miss uh, some really good moments. So, with all that being said, let's go make a very good moment with a giant blue marlin on the end of our line. <laughs> all right, sorry for the rambling. Deep thoughts. We've had a lot of slow days on the water. I, I, uh, I tend to get a little bit deep when I've been sitting out here staring at the ocean for days on end without a bite. Positive vibes. It's gonna happen today. Yeah, here we 
go. Here we go. Wish us luck. I'm hoping that today is the day we break out of this little slump that's going on here. So, stand by. Good, Chris. How's it feel, buddy? Yeah. You got, cool. you got what you came, got what you came for, huh? Yeah. This is it. Just keep it tight. You're doing really good. Just remember the level line. You're doing good. Got a long ways to go. Probably got three, four hundred yards of line out. It's not what I want here. Yeah, well. Are we there yet? Uh, not really. <laughs> All right. Really nice fish. Came up on the short corner. Was swimming back there, kind of checking it out, checking it out. And the sundowner swimming around, and then uh, just came in and ate it. And I saw the shadow. Tight. Nice fish. Hopefully we can get her. Right now she's uh, kind of just swimming away from us. She uh, played some tricks on us in the beginning. Kind of, kind of got us in a situation where she got more line out on me than I wanted her to, but. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. But, uh, <laughs> That's why I was freaking We're after her. We're after her. It was actually the spot I was showing Chris when he was sitting up here, and I was saying, <laughs> This looks really pretty good. Yeah. Man, he sat under it too, kind of like on the side for a hot minute when I just saw the looking at it. The way she ate it was like, it, she ate it. She, she ate it like, like a, I mean, she ate it. She didn't like explode on it, she just ate it. Yeah, just, just, a, just ate it. Almost like she ate it on the, on the down stroke, Just kind of came up and just went, oh, I'll have that. That looks good. Yeah, you were like, what, what should I do? What should I do? And I just saw right when you said that, she lit up one hand on that reel, buddy. Yeah, you have to get them wider to get all of them all on the bench. You're doing perfect. Yeah, Nick, like you were like, yeah, what should I do? And right when you said that, her pecs just lit up neon blue in her tail. I was like, don't, don't yeah. worry. <laughs> she's going to eat right now. As soon as you said she's going to eat, I'm like, oh, I'm good now. I'm oh. chilling, bro. <laughs> All right. I was so excited. I was like, oh, my God, left turn, left turn. I was freaking out. Really nice fish, though. It looked like a oh, yeah. big blob. It looked. Or she's, I mean, yeah, that's on me. I think we're good. I, I agree. Doing good, man. Oh my god. She no, she did. She did. She did. Not when we were here. When when we started back. When she was in here, she got to the back end for about ten seconds, and we got it back. Big fish like this. When she gives it to you, you gotta take her. But oh. it's the bag. She's fifty feet away. I know it's tough, you don't want to horse her now, just keep doing what you're doing, okay? Come on now. I'm on, right? Yeah. Easy, easy, watch your hand on that, that, that spool on the uh, lever. You're good, I just wanna make sure you don't hit it. That would not be good right now. You're right, she's right here, man. She's right here. You're doing great, Chris. Ooh. Once I touch that leader, she's considered caught, okay? You've caught her. 
anymore. It's okay. Just take your time. Like I said, I know it's close. You want to hurt, but just don't horse her. Right now, is you're doing great so far. Just keep her right here. She'll come. You don't want to change anything right now when she's close. Oh, come on. It's okay. She's trickling off a little, a little bit, yeah. Oh, come on. It's okay. Want me to back off a little bit? Okay. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. All right. All right. But it is like short corner, so it's a little. Spread those legs out, give you a better base. You have to get like all the way at the side, but just so you have a little better. It's coming up though. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. That's the first time I've seen the fish before the bite ever on here. I think they freaking not only they like that lure, I think they love that dredge, man. I, I, I think she's I think we most almost all of my bites with you except for like two have been on this side. I think they just like that dredge. Right there, and they just plow it. Totally agree. Come up though. There you go. A real, real as a bug goes down. right here it's okay he's gonna spin on us he's coming up get ready to reel god damn it take your time take it down like you said she's doing good just nice and easy we'll get that leader touch we could say you caught it then we'll figure out everything else later Just yell if I'm in your way and I'll talk really loud. Caught fish, you caught her. Out here. Going 
on to the boat. Yep, I don't have a wrap, I'm just holding it. Gotta let it go. She went down, you're good, you're good. Straight down, go forward a little bit, she's angled. Hey, you caught her. You caught her. Yes, sir. I'm on it. Okay. Just tell me what you need. You're tied in, Chris. I feel much better now. <laughs> don't, don't, yep. I know, I know, I almost did. I know. Forever now, when you might. This is a big one. You might have. We might have a G baby on right now. Just kidding me. I'm not kidding. That's gaffs out. That's why my voice is getting like this because I'm fishing my whole life for one of these. Just do everything like you've been doing. Don't change anything up. You're doing great. That's why you can hear the seriousness in my voice. Once yeah, you yeah, tie yeah. that gaff in, you can reel a clock now. I thought when you said big, you just got about four or five hundred pounds. No. So now we're talking at that close to that mark. That's why we got a gaff out. Holy. This is what you come to Kona for right here, baby. 100%. You don't get, the, you don't get this in Louisiana. You don't get this in North Carolina. You get this right here in the best big game fishing in the world. Everybody, just take your excitement level and just down. drop it down. We're fighting. Like yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. You're right. I'm gonna play it like it. You just talk me through it. She's still very green. To be honest, I think it's kind of good. We're just kind of tiring her out right here. I wonder if she's hooked kind of funny. Or she's just. Kind of up on her side a little bit more. Head still. Okay. You on? Oh my God. Yeah. Hey, you got a caught fish? Big fish, bro. Had the gap out for that one. So, like, congratulations. Thank you. Calling at 900. Yeah, I agree. What I hear about the gap out for that one is okay. really cool. Yeah, that was barely any pressure, too, huh? Dude, I just, I did that. I didn't even pull on her. I mean, I pulled right here. I just held on. I never pulled on her. I just held her. When you guys pull the gap out, does that mean possible four digits? Is that why you pull the gap out? Yeah, I think so. Well, 
you know, bittersweet, bittersweet. Uh, technically, that's a call fish, right? You got leader, get it close. Uh, if we really wanted to rush the situation, you know, we could have got her probably a little bit quicker, closer, quicker maybe, but whatever. You know, it is what it is. That fish was big. I'm gonna call it nine, but I can't really say much because we didn't, we didn't get a, we didn't weigh it. You know, we didn't, do, you know, obviously. But uh, let's put it this way. I can't remember the last time I pulled a gaff off my roof, off off this power here to get ready. So let's put it that way. So uh, you know, to be fair, we'll call it uh, we'll call it over 800. Uh, we had leader twice, second time. Nick barely put any pull on it, and it just popped right off. I don't think that fish was really was really ever really hooked all that much. I think it was up and I think what happened was it was up and around and in the bone part of the bill up here because you can see there's only shape in one area there so I don't think it was like buried in the bone there I don't know but you know whatever it was it was almost like that fish just rolled and, and it just ping popped right off there once we put more more pressure on it um, absolute monster though that's what we're out here for and you know like I said you can never get too discouraged because you just never know when it's gonna happen uh, we actually saw that one come up on the shore. It had been really picking on that sundowner behind my dredge. And, uh, you know, that's how the cookie crumbles. I would have stuck a gap in that one and we would have taken it for a ride. Uh, it wasn't meant to be. Just uh, add it to the list of, uh, of heartbreakers out here in the old Kona Lake. But, uh, hey, we had our chance. We had our dance with her. Um, can you, what can you say, you know? Yeah, I can play it over and over in my head. I had her come up on the side here and she was started kicking hard. And I, I could have, I, I could have probably slammed one in gear, gone super fast, ran down, grabbed the gap, and maybe tried to get a back shot right before she went under the boat. But I don't know, it would have been a tough one. I really like at that point, just kind of like, you know, uh, let's just, you know, get another proper shot on her. And it's not like a tournament where you're like rushing it. So, yeah, you know, it is what it is. I, I rarely ever pull hooks with that the thing I'm using on my hook rigs. Like, I can't remember the last time we pulled hooks. So, I just figured, hey, we'll just get a few more shots at her, and we'll get a, we'll get a shot that will she'll actually do it right, and we'll get our we'll get our chance. But was not to be uh, and that's that you let this stuff you up and you think about it play it over and play it over your head there's no point in doing that only point in doing that is to learn and see what you can do different so I got all this video I'll sit down I'll look at it and I'll see maybe what I would do different in another scenario but that was just one of those situations one of those situations on to the next but oh, we got the bike in a desert so that's good that's always good Right. On again. I'm just going to kind of drive out it forward. There you go. Didn't even want to hit that clicker off for him. So just make it easier for him. There you go. Nice work. As soon as he gets this other one in, we're gonna roar back and try and get this one caught real quick. Get it, get it jump on the leader. Yes, sir. Maybe I gotta go work like one. Like the salt from our wounds and oh, it's a pretty explosive bite. I heard you all out that up. I was on the phone with Haley just staring at the spread. And I was fucking... literally FaceTime my friend. Showing... I was calling my friends to show them the fucking gap. Yeah. Turn that chair for me. Alright, let's get after this thing, Chris, alright? Alright, let's do it! Come on, fellas! There she is, oh, real, real, real. Don't got no heart, I got an icebox. Brand new roller, swap out the G-Shock. Moving slowly out on the street, yeah. Yeah. No more double, go ahead and get yeah. talks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Came from the trenches, they ain't showing us no love. Dying in the city, how we want it. Keep on it.
look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it, real. That's this one, baby. Fish. Yeah, that's why I was letting that one go. <laughs> hey, two for two, baby. Fucking gaff saying it's just with the gaff away. <laughs> All right, two, uh, two for two. Uh, yeah, there you go. Two for two. Well, not that small, but smaller compared to what the heck we saw before. Um, and, uh, yeah, came up, hammered it, uh, came up on the stinger. I just set the spread back out. We were just starting to talk. I just on the phone real quick, talking to somebody, and, uh, oh, there she is. Boom. That was a pretty, pretty epic bite. And, uh, yeah. So, how's that? Huh? How's that? Bitching and moaning about how bad the fishing is in Kona. And we come across a little nest. And uh, that's it. Like I keep saying, you just gotta stay positive. Get out here, do your thing. Just enjoy, just enjoy the moment, man. That's what it's about. The moment. All right. On to the next. Oh, that one ate a bullet on the stinger. It was a, a large bullet, the feather sword edition. kind of windy and bumpy uh, we had those those two um, and that real big one and then the littler one and that was it and I kind of couldn't work the spot too much longer I had to start heading back up this way but uh, kind of sinking in about you know that fish and uh, yeah it sure would have been nice to really kind of maybe throw a gap in her uh, but you know that is what it is but uh, great great uh great day we're stoked you know a lot of respect for those big ones sometimes you win them sometimes you lose them um you know, i don't think it was a complete loss you know and uh in most standards that's a that's a caught fish you know but uh um she did swim away today so you know it's not a complete loss we got to tango with her we got some good looks at her we got her on leader and she got to swim away so you know kind of a win-win um you know there's, there's there's obviously that part of me that kind of wonders how big she really was and if maybe she was worth going for a boat ride but it wasn't meant to be and you know what maybe maybe there's a bigger one in store for us here so uh, as it goes that's the game you play and I think it makes you a better fisherman as you go and um, that's that so but 
don't think I won't be thinking of that one tonight when I'm trying to go to bed. <laughs> because I will be. But that's how it goes. I think the more it happens, the less it bothers me. But um, anyways, yeah, we're grateful. We're grateful to be able to be out here and do what we're doing. Have some big fish around and have the old girl raising fish, you know? Still, she's still kicking ass. She's still relevant today, so. The old 37 Maryland, so that's always great. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. We'll be out here again tomorrow and a couple more days, and then we're off to the Bahamas, where we'll be uh, running a 65 Viking and looking, uh, doing a little pre fishing before that Walkers tournament, and then we're gonna go do that. So it'll be a whole different kettle of fish there. And um, yeah, it should be interesting. Um, looking forward to it. But uh, yeah, we will see you guys bright and early tomorrow. That's that.